Yes, sir. It's your boy Hayes We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do that, watch out for spam, WhatsApp, in the comments down below. Feel free to join VIP to be alerted and we get in and out of plays. Also, get your free stock from down below as well. Hit me up for a 15 minute, 30 minute phone call full of value, full of gems. So, in this video, guys, I'm just going to give you guys a quick update, share with you guys the stocks that's on top of my watch list going into next week, and overall pin on the market for next week. So as we know, the market has started to uh, reverse a bit coming towards the end of this year after having a sloppy year all year. Now we're starting to see a reversal with, you know, a lot of stocks that was being lagging behind that I had on my watch list for a while now. Some of the ones like Affirm and Upstart. Affirm should have supposed to have been turned around down to the $20 range. It's now already doubled up in the past, in the past two months. A firm is already up over twenty dollars, which I missed that huge move because I was waiting so long for it to happen. It done went cold and was kind of on the bottom of my list to where I start uh wasn't watching it as much. But I'm definitely going to be looking for, you know, the downside potential with a firm. Even though it could go up more, we know stocks don't just go straight up, don't just go straight down. It's going to farm opportunities along the way of big spikes and big pullbacks along the way. So I do believe a firm is going to have a pullback after running up a bit more from where it currently is. Uh, you want to definitely be careful, though, because it was due for a while to start training back up and it could, you know, run. So you definitely want to be careful whenever you do it. Whenever I do do puts, I like for it to be, you know, r running up very very quick in a short period of time like even though over the past three months it's up 20 i want to see it shoot up five six seven dollars in a single day alone and then buy the puts so the next stock i'll be looking at is upstart upstart is one of those ones as well that was lagging behind and started to do its thing well a few months ago it actually took off and went crazy back in august it went to 72 from the 20s and came all the way back down to the $20 level and now starting it to go back up. And if it breaks $38, $39, it could see a big spike with upstart again as well, guys. So let's go ahead into the smaller uh cap stocks that we was looking at. You know, uh CGC marijuana sector. Told you guys to keep an eye on that. That's gonna pop back off. It's gonna have its hot and cold moments. It ended at 80 cents on Friday up over 10 percent guys that's looking like it's ready to make a great move as well if i take a look at it it's up on a one week 29 percent one month 34 percent and if cgc breaks above 75 which it already did next price target is 81 cents it break above 81 that bad boy can go to the 90s quick and we'll be looking to break 94 cents once we get to the 90s if it break 94 it's going to take off straight through the $1 range and probably continue to go up and make a new year, one year high, guys. So you definitely want to keep that on your watch list. Another stock is ChargePoint. We called that out before earnings. ChargePoint reported bad earnings, which we was already expecting that. And you got to already expect it whenever the stock has fell and fallen significantly. But prior to earnings, it was kind of already priced in. So even though earnings was bad, ChargePoint, where else is going to go? It's down to a dollar. We're down to what? A dollar and eighty cents, dollar ninety cents, wherever it was, it ain't too much more. It could go, even though it still could have split in half from there. But it's like that's the beautiful thing about uh zero, the number zero. That as far as it can go, it was to one cent zero, and it was over with. Like the closer and closer it was getting to a dollar and then zero, that's the greater upside potential it has if it decides to turn around. So charge point we know by 2050 Biden want over 50 percent of the cars to be electric vehicle so a lot of uh, gas stations will be replaced with charging stations charge point is one of the leading uh one of the leading businesses in that ev charging spectrum of things so it's definitely want to be on your radar for a short term and a long term opportunity guys so another one on the radar would be tilray one of the big dogs in the marijuana space ended at 193 when that starts to run, nobody knows the day, the time, or the hour. But once it starts, that bad boy could go. I definitely want to be on your radar. Uh, AMC and GME started to show a lot of volatility on last week due to earnings for GME. As we know, Ryan Cohen now has the ability to use the company's profits in order to trade, guys. That's definitely a lot of responsibility in the 
big ask for the CEO to do. And a lot of people put in trust in him to be able to manage the funds like that and trade it and other opportunities that he sees.